Alright, Halos, welcome back. We're going to be doing the Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea DLC Episode 2. We finished Episode 1 in the last part. Uh, I think this is a continue from an old save back in like 2017 or something, so we're going to do a new game. But I just want to do uh, previously on, uh, you know, Bioshock it looks like. Not even Infinite or anything. They told me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. What's the difference? Sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? So I guess this is from the original games? I haven't actually played through them yet. Kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch. Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. Tenant bomb. Who's that? Looked like the bottom of the lighthouse is from Shack Bioshock Infinite though. Alright, as previously, let's start a new game then, shall we? Uh new game. Select the difficulty. Like in the previous part, we're just kinda doing this for the story, so we're just gonna go easy and enjoy it. Would you like to see a recap of the events of Bioshock? Um we already just saw them, so now we're good. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. La Poche du Temps Café. Where you'll see Bioshock Infinite Episode 2. A sunny day at an outdoor cafe. What could be better? Looks like everything around has gotten a little more spruced up. We got some croissants on the top right. Paris in the top left. The songbird little brooch down there. Elizabeth in the bottom right. And some, some music up top there. I wonder if that's actually- I wonder what the notes play there. <laughs> Maybe some theme or something. Alright. Let's get into episode 2 here. Ah oh, yeah, dude. I love this song. It's the best. Mademoiselle? Yes? Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh no, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh, thank you. Nice. Looks good. Well done, sir. Well done. All right, I guess we're playing as Elizabeth then. Um, let's check bonjour, things out, shall we? Hello. All right, bonjour. Sorry. Got some hedge clippers. Can I just jump off? No. <laughs> okay. It's like I can't really jump. How are you? At least we're the English subtitles. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Elizabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. Nothing good to paint. All right. Got a baguette there. Hello. Ah, let's see. Where are we supposed to go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. The uh, navigation button doesn't seem to be doing much. That seems like it might be the way to go. Let's check over here, though, real quick. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. <laughs> All right. Bonne Got journée. some prices and stuff. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? Hello. All right. Uh, is this the right way to go then? I love the song, but ooh, is that some flowers? Pretty. Alright, um, let's check this other way then. I don't know if we're allowed to go that way or not, but... Yeah. I kinda do wanna at least check thing everything out if we can, but... Bonjour, it's not the end of the world if we miss anything. Got some meat in there. Some produce. 
<laughs> I promise I didn't change the language. Hello. Oh yeah, this looks like a little bonus area, kinda. Can't go through here, can we? No. How about here? Nope. Little cat over there, though. Aw. That's cute. Alright, doesn't seem to be able to sprint either, unless I'm missing the button. It used to be that, though. It used to be, I think, left alt was what I was using. Hello. Alright. <laughs> Let's head the way it wants us to go. Oh, we got a guy on a bike now. Let's go. Where did you come from? Oh, you're clipping through the ground a little bit there, but it's okay. I don't blame you. Ah, look how pretty though. So cool. Looks like some kind of festival or something. Alright, let's continue on. Hello. Good day to you. <laughs> Et si tu venais boire un verre avec nous? Claude? Sois pas jalouse, ma petite. C'est pas interdit pour un homme de boire avec deux jolies filles. Viens jouer avec nous, Elisabeth. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Oh, dommage. <laughs> All right. Is there anything over here? Nice little garden. Bien le bonjour, Elizabeth. Oh. Comment allez-vous? Alright, how are you? Je peux vous vendre tous les livres que vous voulez, et pour pas cher en plus. Do you have The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton? Désolé, ma petite, celui-là n'a pas encore été écrit. Huh? He just came out and said it. <laughs> little bird or the cat. Nothing happens if I walk into him, it looks like. Alright. What does it say? Some Spanish stuff. Looks like me on there, what the heck? That's interesting. Oh, got some keys back here. Bien bonjour, Elizabeth. Hello. Bonjour. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't really let me do anything, but I appreciate the offer. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour Elisabeth. Roquefort, camembert, brie de mots, les meilleurs fromages au meilleur prix. <laughs> Bonjour mademoiselle. Le pain est frais, le ciel est bleu et vous êtes resplendissant. Oh thank you, thank you. Got some money, some cats. Alright, <clears throat> let's continue on though. Elle est tellement plus belle en vrai, tu trouves pas Si tu veux mon avis. Alright, what's on here? Some stuff. Oh! Oh, hello. Got the thimble. Dang. Books here. Some paintings or, or drawings. Talk to girl. This kind of looks like the little sister, though. Sally. Oh, Sally. Sally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I run? I don't, I don't think so. What's the run button? I can't remember actually. I thought I was remembering it correctly, but uh, let me let me remember. Toggle sprint is left shift. Okay. Yeah, I was remembering it wrong. All right, things got pretty Sally, dark wait. quick. Things got real creepy real quick. Wait. Transorbitaire. 
Should, did she go in here? Oh wow. The glass breaking under my feet. It's kind of interesting. Oh, here we go. Stop! Stop! It's a statue. All right, let's keep chasing her. Where did she go? I don't know. I can't really see down there. Must be through here. Booker DeWitt. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, we turned the heat up previously. <clears throat> um. Oh. Go away. That was creepy. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. No. 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 It wasn't my fault. Leave me alone. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. Hmm. All right. What's that sound? Oh. Oh. Empty. Empty again. What are the odds? What's the holdup? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. Atlas. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Right now, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? Uh, Booker, say, what? I don't understand. I can get him. How? Say... I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. <laughs> oh, bro. Didn't have to do that, I don't think. Alright. Interesting. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional fate, didn't she? Pick up doll head, okay? It had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. In Comstock. That final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Hmm. Okay, exit toy departments. This way. 
All right, so I guess we're playing as Elizabeth now, and Booker died, or Comstock, or whatever. But he's somehow speaking to us on the radio, so that's kind of weird. Don't you want to be a little sister available now? Okay. Um, this is glo oh climb wreckage. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I guess. Can we do it from up here? No. <laughs> All right, let's let's do it from down here. Climb wreckage. <clears throat> All right, playing as Elizabeth. This is new. Paris, I, I was happy, and now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me, Elizabeth. I ain't even here. True. Uh, by the way, okay, no, we don't have any money or or lockpicks, so we lost all the stuff we had in the first part. I was kind of wondering about that. That is a little unfortunate, but oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. It is a new DLC, so I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't really get ported into it. It would be nice, though. Alright, so it looks like we're going towards that place that we were going before. Look, some Matryoshka dolls. I think that's what those are called. Can we go down here? Oh, yeah, we can, but that just takes me back down. <laughs> I, I forgot that that was just uh, going backwards, basically, so no point in doing that, really. Alright, let's head over to this little door with some, like, scratches on the ground or something. Yeah, it's got, like, some scratching on the ground. It's kind of weird. Alright, uh, move rubble. Let's do it. What are you? <clears throat> huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? You feel like yourself, Elizabeth. I feel... I feel s strange and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Oh. Oh my god. S stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. by that stay away from me but then how am i here how can i be dead in this world and yet my finger what am i oh it's back yeah i don't understand i i if we're going to end up in the same place it needs to be harmony and right are you being cute Come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things, but after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton, especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back to fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? I guess I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. All right, leave boat, I guess. Let's do it. <clears throat> You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. Alright. Let's continue on, I guess. We got a Atlas like lighthouse or something here. The Lutesses warned me that if I came back here I would collapse. Collapse. From a, a, a quantum superposition to just me. Uh, quantum what? I've changed, Booker. 
No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. Hey, it, if I can't open tears, I, I'm never leaving here, am I? I I'm never going back to Paris. You, and you, you're just... You, you're just what? You, you're, you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds? You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option as I see it is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. All right. I got real dark there for a second. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Maintenance. We got here shift schedule. Okay. Crew personnel. Okay. We could probably crawl through that little hole there. Let me just double check. There's nothing here we need to take. Doesn't seem like it. I'm not trying to sell you insurance. I'm not in the insurance business. No. Not at all. I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy. I don't know. If well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter too. And that's not what you would have done. Oh, shoot. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. Ah, I ain't letting a good lead like you get away. I stepped on some glass there accidentally. I don't know if he's chasing me or what, so I gotta be careful. Alright, well, let's let's head out, I guess. Ryan the Lion Preparatory Academy. Okay. Carpus will hold the sound of your movement. Nice. Makes sense. <clears throat> You'll want to get the drop on him and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. Well, he's not getting up anytime okay. soon. And what with his head all attached to his body. From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? A clay, Brandon. It's up to us to see they become Some health back, so that's nice. Okay, let's see it wraps around. Can't hit that. Uh, is there anything? Oh, can you fire? Okay. Just about to ask if there's anything around here worth taking or checking out. Intellectual superhumans who, in the Lockpicks can be purchased now, in vending machines and found in the world. Okay, let's take his lockpick then. And we'll use that here in just a second. Let me double check I didn't miss anything here. I will not share my toys. Corner of shame. Interesting. Is there anything else over here that's worth taking? Today's lesson draw a parasite you met today. Wow, that's... Wow, okay. That seems a little messed up. Nothing in there. All right, let's, let's continue then. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Examine lock. Learn how to pick locks. Uh oh. Lock picking can be <clears> easy <throat> with the right tools and know-how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Okay, do we 
what unlock? Simple Do enough. Wanna... Just a six-pin tumbler. Do a noise. Oh, but there's an alarm. Huh. That could come in handy, though. All right. Press E to probe a neutral pin and open the lock. A red pin will open the lock, but also send an alarm. Okay. So E to pick the lock. Okay. I guess the neutral pins are fine. So at least it shows you what they are. That's nice. Corey Stower, Michael Ramsey, Oliver Hong. Let's go ahead and take the medical kit. To use a medical kit, press G. Number in the top left corner indicates how many medical kits you currently have. Okay. Um, I think we can wait on using it for now, but we might have to at some point soon. Nothing in there. Alright, well, um, I am going to actually go ahead and end the episode here. I appreciate uh, everyone watching, and we'll catch you in the next part. Alright, peace.